How does synesthesia originate in a person? As I've mentioned in a past video, being able to see colors in music is more nurture than nature. When you think about the nature versus nurture, it's not like a DNA thing, it's not genetic. Although there is some evidence to support that, it's mainly something that you learn from a young age. People have asked me, what is the earliest I can recall seeing colors in music? And honestly, I can't remember a time where I didn't, but I remember very vividly this one time when it was like solidified in my brain. So I played viola starting when I was five years old and I was probably around seven or eight at this time. And I was in a music store with my family. My sister was getting cello strings. And so as they were doing their business, I was like looking at all the instruments and there was a toy harp. It was like this big and it had eight notes, one octave on it and the strings were colored. I plucked the first one, it was red, and I heard it, I was like, hey, that's the C that I play on viola. That's the same C. And I played the next one, it was a D. I was like, I play that on viola, it's D and it's blue. I went through the whole octave, recognized each note as I recognize it on viola. And as far as I know, those are the colors that I still see in my mind's eye. With the exception of F, which I don't remember what color it was on the harp, but in my brain it is a vivid gold and I know it wasn't gold on this harp and B which can tend to be a very out of tune note especially I also play trumpet later and B was a very terrible key to play in and so it ranges from like a navy blue to like a deep violet purple depending on the intonation and who's playing it and again, that just wasn't on the color spectrum of this little tiny harp. I didn't tell anyone about this experience because I didn't think it was weird and no one really cared but yeah, I wonder if that harp still exists. It'd be very cool to play it. But yeah, that is my earliest story of colors and music.